in last section uh, we covered config data uh, sorry we covered the browser factory class now here we'll try to create a config data provider class where we'll try to read the config file so basically when we are uh, working with this java thing we need to read the file we need to take the data from that file so config.property file is this we need to take these two data browser and test url data so just to read these data i'll create a class and name this class as config data provider so config data provider is the name of class now in this config data provider first i'll try to read this file and then i'll pass this file to uh, like I'll, uh, once the file is loaded then i'll try to get the data from that file now let's see how to read this file or how to copy this file and uh, just get the data so this is the link where you'll find the code so just you go here and when you watch here you'll see this is the code here so i'll copy it and i'll bring it here so that you can easily watch it from here now this one is for get browser and this one is for url yeah i copy this and put it here now let's understand so properties is basically a class in java that helps to read the properties file and this config data provider is it's basically data provider okay it's a a constructor and you see in constructor itself i pass the file here now the reason behind why i'm passing the file in constructor is every time when i call this config data provider this file will be loaded by default now first in just first i read the path of the configuration file so this is the configuration file and here from here i am reading the config properties then by using file input stream i try to feed, i just try try to get access to that particular uh, file now i have created the object of this properties class in this basically i load this particular data the one that is in input stream basically this file i load it here now once the file is loaded that means this value is stored in this pro object so now this pro object contains this data so basically the details of that file is stored in this pro object now and here i have used try and catch because it's uh, like when we are using these files there is chances of throwing exception if in case the file is not available or file is not able to input so that's why i put this part in try and catch section so that if any error occurs that can be handled easily now once the file is loaded to this properties object that is pro then i'll create two methods one for get browser and other one for the url now these two will help to read the data here so right now i have only two data as one browser and the next one is the url so what i will do i'll read the data from here so just i create a method with return type as string and here by using pro dot get property get property helps you to get data from that particular section get property helps to read the data and the data is read uh, is returned in form of string so i say pro dot get property and browser so this will give me the browser name and pro dot get property will uh, test url will give me the url name remember that these two method get browser and get staring staging url is two methods that will give you the browser details and the url details that's how we read this config data provider class and it's very important to write all the files in form of java that's written here and this is how we read the file that basically the properties file now we'll try to create a base test and we'll see how that section works